Stonewall, a time where queens, kings, and all kinds of royalty of the LGBTQ plus community came together to fight against the oppression that they were facing at the time. If you don't know, in 1969, on June 28th to July 3rd, there was an uprising of the LGBTQ plus community at a bar called Stonewall Inn. This all was spurred on by a violent police raid on the Stonewall Inn. While this was happening, patrons of the bar and even outside finally were fed up and decided to fight against the police. This led to a six day long protest of the patrons, as well as other members of the LGBTQ plus community. With many people giving Stonewall at least the protests, the main credit for the rise of the gay liberation movement. The story of Stonewall is a very interesting one, one that's told using all kinds of different rhetoric and in all sorts of different ways. But who uses the best rhetoric when telling Stonewall? Who's used pathos the best or logos when telling the story of Stonewall? That is what we are discussing here. I will be showing off two artifacts, and they will be acting as our contestants in what is going to essentially be a drag show of who has the best rhetoric. Moving into our first contestant, it is a video speaking all about the myths and misconceptions about Stonewall and correcting them with the help of participants who were there at Stonewall when it happened, historians, as well as other queer writers and creators who are helping give a more modern idea of why we look at it the way we do today. The main audience that this video is directing towards is those of the LGBTQ plus community, as well as allies and anyone who would be interested and in wanting to learn of the history of the LGBTQ plus. But the first contestant's main use of rhetoric was that of Kairos and ethos. The ethos is done very well, and particularly in allowing many, not only the LGBTQ plus community to feel at home in the culture that is usually presented to us, but also allowing others who are not as familiar with the culture to kind of get an inside look. The video actually even uses an inside joke very popular in the LGBTQ plus community that ties into Stonewall, basically asking jokingly, who threw the first brick at Stonewall? The Kairos of the video was also done very well, particularly in the video being posted around the time of the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, but also how it brought up very important topical issues that the LGBTQ plus community are still facing to this day, such as preserving our history correctly and not having it just continuously pushed aside or forgotten. For contestant two, they were was also another video, but this one done in a more documentary style way. Basically just rehashing all of the events, especially on the first day of Stonewall and briefly going over the following days as well as the repercussions that Stonewall had in the future. The audience for this article, again, was mainly targeted towards the LGBTQ plus community, allies and anyone, again, who would like to learn more, his who would like to learn more about the LGBTQ plus history. Contestants to rhetoric was also done best with pathos and logos. Contestants to use of logos was done very well, mostly due to the video being a more documentary style recapturing of the events, helped it to really give off all facts and information that was being told by those who were there that on the day that Stonewall occurred going into a great many detail of the time that the people there were going through, the discrimination that they were facing, the harassment, and why Stonewall was so important. The pathos was also done very well for contestant too. Their use of the stories and the real experiences that these people faced before, during, and after Stonewall are very touching and really tries to reach into the emotions and empathy and sympathy of others watching the video to make sure that everyone knows exactly the pain and suffering that they went through so that it may never happen again. All in all, both of our contestants have a great use of rhetoric, but who used the best? 
That's what the whole drag show is for, right? Not exactly. Neither one really wins. Both use their types of rhetoric best for them and trying to reach their certain audience. But their audience is quite broad and many people like to learn about Stonewall or history in general in different ways. One used more ethos and kairos to help present it to that certain audience in that way because some people like that kind of storytelling better, while others will prefer a more logos and pathos way of telling it, a more documentary style. Both are very important ways of telling the story. Both allow the LGBTQ plus community to tell their story, let it be heard correctly and properly, and for not only their voice to be heard, but to continue to ring throughout history. In conclusion, both use their rhetoric greatly and reach their audience perfectly, at least to me. If you'd like to learn more, go down into the links below. There will be all of my resources that I used, as well as the videos that I've been discussing.